So guys, you're welcome back to this channel. You know, the state governor, Dr. Alex Oti, has disclosed his government's plan to digitally transform the state and prepare it for the next century. You know, he said we are preparing Abia for the next century. So, the governor who disclosed this at a government house, Omaya, during the June edition of the monthly media chat, tagged uh, uh, Dr. Alex Oti speaks to Abians, disclosed that the project would be um, heralded by the broadband technology, which will provide access to the internet in the state. So, Alex Oti further disclosed uh, that he would soon appoint a chief information technologist to prepare the state for digital transformation and that would you know and that would be a uh, herald by the broadband technology that the state is you know RD in its final stages of discussion so guys he said we are preparing our state for the next century wherever you are you can have access to data we are preparing our state for the next century. That was what Alex Oti said. So guys, before I play the video, Alex Oti also vowed to make infrastructure, education, health, agriculture, security, and other focus of his second year in office, noting that access is the key to a thriving economy. Oti assured that his infrastructural revolution will be extended to all the nooks and crannies of the 17 council areas in the next few months. He also said that aside the 90 roads rehabilitated through direct labor by the State Ministry of Work, 16 roads have already been reconstructed and commissioned by his administration, while another 16 new roads representing 165 kilometers are under uh, construction and construction across the three senatorial zones of the state so on health sector the governor stated that all general hospitals are being retrofitted so guys i'll play the video now please if you are new to this channel please do not to subscribe like and also drop a comment below i'll see you guys in our next video from their homes we want to say welcome to the june 2024 media chat i'd just like to take us through a few of the things that had happened between the last time we were here and today. A few weeks ago, precisely on the 29th of May, 2024, we celebrated the first anniversary of this government. I'd like to use this opportunity to thank everyone who was part of that celebration in one way or the other, even though, like we promised, we didn't really roll out the drums to celebrate as such. We dedicated that period between the 25th of May and the 29th of May to commissioning of already completed projects and flagging off of new projects. In terms of roads, we were able to commission the old cut road, the Ahi road, that we reconstructed. 
part by direct labor and then the other part by contract. And we had the honor and privilege of having His Royal Majesty, the Obi of Furniture, Igwe Alfred Nemeka Achebe CFR, join us in person to commission those roads. On the 27th of May, we commissioned the Green Avenue, the University Road, and College Road, and um, also flagged off the bus, central bus terminal at Aba. We subsequently commissioned the former Osa Road, which was named after General JTU Aguirunsi. And of course, the renovated Opera Square. Those were done by the former number two man in this country who happens to be our son and our father. Chief Commodore Ebitu Oko Okiwe, GCON, who also came in person to do us that honor. And we are very thankful. In fact, he had to put off a trip uh, to honor that event. And of course, thereafter, we proceeded to the Omoaiha Central Terminal and um, distinguished senator Chris Adegije, PhD, also did us the great honor of uh, flagging off that bus terminal. From there, we proceeded to the Ogrube layout, where we commissioned the completed Jack building, a building that was started by the administration of uh, Senator T.R.G. in 2012, abandoned midway, uh, but we had to complete the building and it was ready for commission. And then thereafter, we had a state banquet. So I'd just like to thank everyone that participated at that event. We continue with all the our programs at the last count uh, we have completed the reconstruction and fixing of nine which we are in different and uh, stages of uh, dilapidation all the 90 rules we are done by our ministry of works by direct labor some of them fit into our uh, zero point uh, portal policy. We have reconstructed and uh, rebuilt and commissioned 16 routes. We have also, we have also, we're also uh, working on another 16 routes at the moment. Uh, the total length of the 16 routes, I understand, is about 165 kilometers running through the different senatorial zones of the state. We have awarded the long abandoned and very difficult Osa, um, Ohanku Road in Aba. That is a very strategic road which leads to several settlements in Aba. We felt that uh, the state of the road 
require that we apply rigid pavement technology, also known as cement. For those who have visited, I'm sure you will confirm that work has started on Ahanku Road. So also a few other routes in Aba. We are very strategic about routes because we believe very strongly that access is key to a thriving economy. We have a plan to touch every local government in the next 12 months. So at the moment, we are compiling strategic routes that we will take on as we go into our second year. We are also getting ready to go to the House of Assembly for environment because it does appear that we are running faster than our budget on routes. So by the time we are done, I'm sure you will follow uh, so that we'll have enough money uh, to uh, give access to different communities in the state. Um, on healthcare, uh, we continue to work very hard to retrieve that very important sector of our economy. Um, all the general hospitals are receiving attention, and we also don't want to lose steam. We, the, all the um, primary health care centers, all of them will receive attention at one point or the other. There are a lot of them, so we are taking them in batches. And just want our primary health, can, uh, health centers to work and to be functional. Of course, um, the state teaching hospital, the state university teaching hospital uh, is on course. A lot of work still needs to be done, both in terms of infrastructure and uh, the skills. I understand that 19 um, 19 areas or disciplines have already received accreditation and we will continue uh, to build on that. On education, we are also working hard. Uh, it's a tough call because uh, clearly no school was left uh, in a good state. Virtually all of them are in different stages of dilapidation. Uh, we are not discouraged. Uh, we are just taking them in phases. Um, sometimes you get uh, pictures and videos shared by the people who actually left the educational sector in the ruin that they find themselves today. Um, of course, I'm glad that Abia people are not as dumb as they want them to be. So they've been here and they left the, st the schools in those states. And today they go around making noise. Uh, we are doing, dealing with them. We are not complaining. Uh, but it's important that we remind ourselves from where we are coming and know that Rome was not built in a day. The most important thing is that we are moving in the right direction. Um, but this time yesterday, we were having a virtual meeting with uh, a, set, a, con a um, consultant called Eric, um, who had excelled in a few other states. And we are looking at um, how to ensure that we get efficient outcomes from everything we are doing in education. And I'm very positive that we are going to get them. Agriculture is also another area where we are paying a lot of attention to. 
Of course, at this time, food security is a topical issue. So, what we are, in the last one week, we had dispatched 300 Abia men and women to Nasarawa State, where they are undergoing sophisticated, mechanized agricultural training from CSS farms, one of the leading farms in the country. These 300 people we are drawn from the 184 words. No word was left behind. But some words have had more than one person. And the whole idea is that they will also be able to train others as they come back. So, and all these are geared towards uh, food security. We are also in discussions with uh, organizations and companies that had worked elsewhere.